the Jehovah Witness have also predicted doomsday dates. Charles Taz Ruxel predicted the rapture in 1910, followed by the end of the world in 1914, but later he interpreted as the invisible return of Christ. In 1988, Edgar C. Winsnet published a book, 88 Reasons Why the Rapture Would Be in 1988. He believed that it would occur on the Rosh Hashanah of September of 1988. Since the rapture didn't happen in 1988, he recalculated and said it would be in 1989. Entitled The Final Shout, Rapture Report 1989, he revised his thinking after it didn't happen in 1988. Harold Camping, in his controversial book 1994, predicted that Christ would come on September 6, 1994. Here's what he said. If I'm correct in this, and there is every intention that I am, we have a short time left to get right with God. In his book, he warns that when September 6, 1994 arrives, no one else can or will be saved. The end has come. Well, September 6, 1994 came and went, but did the date setter stop? Oh no! which brings us to the year 2000. People called it Y2K. I believe that is why the world is calling 2012 the real Y2K. They believe that Y2K was just a dress rehearsal. I recall prior to the beginning of the year 2000, how everyone was talking about the end of the world prophecy teachers were once again pointing to the rapture of the church. First of all, I believe it's not wrong to warn people of coming danger. It is when our predictions fell and we fail to repent from them. Instead, we adjust our charts and explain it away like it never occurred. Still, people are following after the these popular teachers, after all the false predictions, it shows that the church is blind. 